In all his adult life, he's been so honorable and so respectable. But he was definitely a naughty schoolboy. <laughs> It was in 1954. We were both at Stowe. David introduced me to racing, betting daily. That was an introduction to a new and slightly naughty world. We have been tinkering on ever since. A great battle here, but Oates is going to win. It's the lead, coming up toward the line. Is a winner. David is completely unflappable and of the highest integrity. A very humble man with an encyclopedic knowledge of everything to do with racing. He loves detail, he loves accuracy. He's a rarity in modern times. In the last 30 years, he has been the driver of everything that we know we see on the race course now. He was in charge of the disciplinary side at the Jockey Club. He was on the levy board, he was on the BHB. He's been chairman of the TBA. Deputy senior steward, deputy chairman of the BHA. All of whom tapped into that remarkable knowledge. His greatest legacy will be the changes to the race programme. He is essentially a traditionalist, but he saw the absolute need for reform. The modern framework of racing which British trainers and owners operate under is Mr Oldry's invention. He's kept on fine-tuning it and keeps on reminding us that we, there are various things we can do to improve it. He was a great connoisseur of racing art. He's produced the definitive history of new markets. He wrote books about the jockey club rooms. He loves correcting mistakes that people have made. About 15 years ago, there was a Stubbs exhibition. There was a jockey club tour. And at the end of it, David said to the guide, thank you very much for the tour, but there are a number of mistakes. So he sent 10 sides of A4 in his inimitable black, spidery, handwritten notes. That is David all over. Not only has he never sought the limelight, but in a way he has eschewed the limelight. I think he quite likes it, the sort of unknown hand which has guided so many very important decisions. It is not sufficiently recognised how great his achievements were. He's been very much a mentor to me in the race programme, something I've learned to love as well. David is extraordinary and unique in that he has employed only two trainers in 50 years. Without him, I wouldn't have been able to start training. This award could not have gone to a greater gentleman but also to somebody who has always had racing's interests at heart. He's irreplaceable. Once we don't have David there, we won't have that knowledge. How he hasn't got more recognition, God only knows, probably because he's a very modest man. You couldn't get a better friend in the world. I'm just very grateful that I chanced to meet him. <laughs> <laughs> when I did.